Hello everyone, Jim here. Welcome, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well and making great music. So today it is all about hairpins, crescendos and diminuendos. And I'll throw in a few dynamics in there. By the end of this video, you'll have a better idea how to apply crescendos and diminuendos, hairpins, to multiple staffs in a fast manner. And we're also gonna discover different velocities and playback. Make sure you watch the end of the video because I have some examples of the different playback and we'll show the sound waves. So, let's go. All right, so the first thing I wanna let everyone know, to find hairpins, you go to lines. So you go to F9, and you can also customize. So I've drag and dropped, and I've put them under dynamics as well. Now I can apply hairpins to multiple staffs and not open up the palette. So we're gonna look at measure 14, and we are gonna find an empty part of the measure, meaning don't click on a note. So you have the control key down, and then you're gonna click, and you're gonna have all the staffs highlighted. And then I'm gonna press shift and then diminuendo. So it's the period key and you have that. Let's say you wanna add a dynamic to the beginning of that. You can go ahead and highlight just the first note, shift key down. So now that I have three staffs, I wanna put forte. The way I do it, I've discovered, I will go to dynamics and just click on forte like that. Now, if you do the shortcut, control E, you'll probably get an error, yeah. There you go. I think anyone that's used software programs for a long time gets excited over the simple things. I wanted to point this out. Maybe I can slow down the video. I have this highlighted again, measure 14. And when I click on Forte, watch what the hairpins do. I know I'm nerdy. Ready? They adjust automatically. All right, time to talk about hairpins and different playbacks. So that's right, inspector time. So we're gonna highlight a hairpin, measure 14. We're gonna press F8 and we have the inspector open. We're gonna to go to the bottom and look at hairpin. So I'm gonna close this up. Okay, just to be really clear, to go ahead and create playback difference with hairpins, you're gonna to go to inspector. So you're gonna click F8, and then when the palette opens up, you're gonna to go to the bottom where it says notes. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, now that we highlighted the hairpin in this case, we are gonna be focusing on dynamic range, velocity change, then use single note dynamics. Personally, I like the default linear the best, but I also like the ease in, ease out, but we'll get to it. Let's talk about dynamic range. This is very helpful. If you have um, a lot of instruments and there's gonna be a giant diminuendo or whatever, you can go ahead and select that staff or the system. So if we select system, we'll have the diminuendo all act the same. Okay, so now that we've decided to select the dynamic range within the system, all the instruments will have the same behavior as far as diminuendo for this example. So velocity change, I'm not gonna get too geeky today with velocity change. In this case, zero means there's no change. That's right, higher the number, the change is drastic. So 127, the sound would go to niente, would just disappear. I usually go for 65, but who knows what we're doing right with music. Uh, so if we go to velocity change, let's see if we can hear it, 65. I'm gonna play it back, start here. I like that, pretty good. Okay, so to sum it up with velocity change, remember zero means there's no change. If you go higher, that means the behavior will change drastically. So depending on what you're doing, in this case with the diminuendo, if you go to 127, it will just disappear. So you have to play with it. It's a great feature, I love it. Now it is time to go to dynamics method. And I think there's five of them. So you have a drop down menu here and this is the default linear, which works great. Then skipping in the handbook, yes, they mention about this, they do a great job and this is pretty self-explanatory. The exponential, uh, you can definitely hear a difference. It's a gradual change and then very drastic. So now what we do, if you wanna pick ease in and ease out, you wanna make sure that hairpin's selected first and then you go ahead and select that. Now what I'm gonna do is prepare a quick sound sample of it. And I had to do this before the video so you could get a truer sound. All right, if you're finding value out of this content, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out with future videos. Until next time, I wish everyone well and happy music making. Take care.